Space is Sims, and welcome to not exactly the start of our new challenge, but the introduction, let's talk about the characters and the challenge teaser, I guess. Um, I decided to do this just because there's a lot of backstory um, and there's a lot of info about the challenge and there's a lot of info I want to share with you before we get into the challenge. And I don't want to spend the first part kind of doing that because, like, it's a lot of information. And then it's like, hey, we've been here for 40 minutes. Okay, bye. We're not playing. Um, but anyway, uh, so I will introduce you all to all of the characters and everything like that. But first, uh, if you are new here, hi, welcome. If you'd like to stick around and subscribe, we would greatly welcome you to being one of the Space Muffins. That would be awesome. But if you're new, just a couple of things. I'm loud, I'm obnoxious, and I swear a lot. So if that's not uh, something that you're interested in, that's cool. I get it. I'm just letting you know that up front. Also, we tend to play mostly with male sims. And when I say tend to and mostly, I mean like almost exclusively at this point. I don't know why. But there was a point in time where I was like, I love decorating female sims. I don't know why I always go with decorate, but that's where my brain goes. So there we go. I love decorating them. I had so much more fun. I have a ton of CC. It's so much more fun. And all my male sims look like fucking potatoes. Okay. And then I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, it took a wild freaking left turn and it swapped. And now all my female sims look like potatoes. They all suffer from the no chin problem, but I feel like that's a problem that's universal to all of us we could all go to group therapy over this because it's just traumatic. Why? Why don't they have chins? Anyway, um, and all my male sims look glorious. I just have more fun decorating them. I just have more fun with them. So that's that. If you're here because you're like, yay, we're going to have females. That's not what we do here, okay? And all my sims are gay. I don't know. That's just what we do. All of our heirs tend to be boys because when we have daughters, I tend to forget that they exist. I'm not even kidding. Actually, in one of my games, I was like, who the hell is this girl? Oh, right. That's your sister. I forgot she existed. Oh, crap. So I'll try not to do that. But like, no promises. Because like, old habits die hard. I'm an old dog. You can't teach me new tricks. So there's that. Uh, also, uh, we'll talk about my other quirk. Um, <laughs> I probably have a lot, and there's probably people that have been here a long time going, I could list a whole ton more that you're missing, Spacey, but anyway. Well, what we're going to be doing is Genova Sims's Star Sign Legacy Challenge, and um, so I will... Okay, well, <laughs> that was... We're going to do that! Pauses. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I was going to... I was planning on doing this maybe after we finished our werewolf LP. Um, but then I was like, I just got really excited and I was kind of reading through things and I was playing and stuff. And I was like, can I wait though? Because that one's going to take a couple months because, you know, even those short little ones that I do off to the side, uh, 10, like 20 some odd parts. So I'm like, that's like, if we only do one a week, that's like five fucking months. I can do math, right? Um, so I was like, do we start early? So as of today, the vote was unanimous to start it early, Spacey. Yay. Um, so I put a poll up on Twitter. Thank you to the people who voted. And I gave you the options of yes, do it. No, too much Sims. I should have put an L after it, but you know, and then cheese. And then I followed that up with, if you vote for cheese, I'm taking that as a yes. So I'd like to say that 57% of people voted for yes, and 43% of people voted for cheese. <laughs> I'm really proud of those of you who voted for cheese. I know there's some people like, I want to could vote for cheese because that's funny, but I'm going to vote for yes because I'm taking this seriously. And everyone else is like, cheese. Good times. Um, so I appreciate everybody unanimously unanimously voting for yes uh quick little backstory on me for those of you who are new here uh, or just a fun trip down memory lane for those of us who have been over here a while um there was a point in time on this channel where i had a different lp going up every single day that was seven different series and then 
there was a brief period where I was like, oh, and then we're going to do this other one. So eight, but I'm going to do that one three times a week. So I was recording 10 things for The Sims on a weekly basis. I spend 12 to 14 hours on a Saturday recording. I don't know what's wrong with me. Please don't ask. I don't know. My mother never had me tested. Okay. Um, so there's that. Uh, we're not getting back to that because even in my head, I'm like, right now we've been doing four things because I did just start a whole nother new LP recently and we've been putting that up twice a week. So then I was like, oh, and then with the werewolf thing, that's cool. I can manage four things. And I'm like, can I manage five? Let's see. I don't know. Apparently I'm a glutton for punishment and I'm just like trying to fuck with myself. So here we go. We're going to do five things. Um... And the thing is, is I was going to put our werewolf thing up on Saturdays. This will be going up on Saturdays. So you will see the first episode of this next Saturday. Um, and then I don't know what we're going to do with the werewolf thing. Is it going to just be Sundays? Am I going to be like so industrious? I'm going to record two parts. And then I'm like, am I crazy? Yes, absolutely. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is this. Hi. Okay. I get off topic a lot too. So if you don't like talking and rambling, uh, yeah, you're not going to like it here. Also, I don't edit, just so you know. Um, unless my capture card's being a douche weasel, and I have to. Um, I know a lot of people tend to, they record for two hours, and then they condense it to a half hour. We are here for like 40, 45 minutes, and it is start to finish, and you are following me the whole way. If I have to suffer through these bastards doing stupid shit, so do you. We have fun here. <laughs> anyway. So, we are doing Genova Sims's. Genova Sims's. It's really hard to say, but Genova Sims has made a lovely challenge called the Star Sign Legacy, and I'm a sucker for a Zodiac challenge. All right, we've already done one on this cha channel challenge. Whatever. Oh my god, I'm way too excited. And uh, anyway, um, also doing the first part of anything is just like it's like performance anxiety. You're like, hi, okay, I'm presenting. This is why they make me present things at work. Oh, I hate it. Anyway, um. She has made a lovely challenge dealing with the Zodiac signs. And as she specifically says in her thing, she didn't look at any of the other Zodiac challenges because she didn't want to be influenced, which is awesome. I appreciate it because sometimes when challenges, when there's multiple challenges that are similar, well, Zodiac challenges, they tend to be similar. And then it's like, do you do one or the other? Or you do what I do and you Franken make them. So that's the other thing that I was going to tell you before, kids, if you remember. Um, I like to fuck people's shit up. Since we're talking about the Zodiac, and later we're going to talk about her, her solar system legacy, she also has that too. There you go. That's the intro for that. Um, I am like Pluto. My orbit is a little off kilter, and I just do whatever the fuck I want. So everybody else who's doing this challenge is falling in line, doing it the right way. This is what the challenge rules are. This is what I'll be doing. And I'm over here like, I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want with it and not follow the rules, really. I mean, I do follow the rules, but I like to bastardize shit, and I like to fuck people's stuff up, and I like to just franken mesh and be like, I'm going to whatever. So with that being said, I'm going to jump over to Genova Sims's Tumblr page. I will also link the links <laughs> in the description for both the Star Sign Legacy Challenge and the Solar System Legacy Challenge, because we're going to be talking about both of them, because I'm kind of, kind of, because I'm, I'm, wow, I'm kind of going to Franken merge them. And that's what we'll get into. So let's hop over to the Tumblr page. Okay, so. Here we are. And this is the Star Sign Legacy Challenge. So I'm not going to go through and read everything. I'm just going to give you kind of a rough overview. Um, you can go ahead and read the rules and the challenge and all of that stuff down below. But somebody posted it on Twitter and they because they created their sim for it. And I was like, ooh, Zodiac Challenge. I'm here for that. We've already done one. Again, we. I'm pretty sure it was Coffee's Challenge 100 years ago. Um, she had a solar zodiac challenge and a lunar zodiac challenge, and they were kind of similar, but they were different. And I was like, I'm just going to shove them together and then do something weird with it. And we did. It's called Eclipsed, if you would really like to watch it. It's fun. It's technically a 12 generation challenge, but we didn't actually do it in 12 generations. We just had all this, like our, our sun and moon sim. If they had three kids, that was Aries, Taurus. Gemini, is that the next one? I don't know. I'm not really good with remembering the order of the zodiac signs. Um, 
you know, and then like if Taurus had a baby, then that's the next one. And then like, whatever. So however the Sims were born in that family was the Zodiac they got. So it wasn't really 12 generations. So it was kind of fun. And they were all occults. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, so for this one, you know, you can have aging at any length. She recommends long, but okay, here's the thing about that. Uh, I play on normal lifespan now. I have actually found it's more fun. I used to play on short lifespan because I'm like, we just need to get through shit faster. Now I'm like, long, not, uh, normal is better. However, this is a 12 gen challenge. I've kind of condensed it and I've made it 10. Again, I like to fuck shit up. Okay, I'm doing my own shit out here. Okay, my orbit's not straight. We're crooked. Okay. Um, and that's going to take me six years because I'm not kidding. One of the other challenges that I'm doing, uh, which we'll tie back in so, sort of, um, I am on the fifth gen and I was like, when did I start? I started that in 2019. I don't know what time is anymore. Cause I don't know where it went. I mean, I know for two years we were all like, what the fuck just happened? But like, seriously, what the fuck just happened? I'm not over it yet. I, I don't know. So I'm like three years. That means this one, we're going to be here forever. I don't know if we'll finish this. The Sims 8 will be out. And I'll be over here like, we finally did it. Grandma finally finished, kiddos. Anyway, so. um, Each goal must be met before the new air takes over. I kind of whatever I feel like doing. Um, you know, <laughs> I love people who write challenges because they were like, you know, there's people like, okay, I'm going to follow the rules. And then there's me. And they're like, please don't, don't touch my shit. Why, why, why are you doing this? So Genova's probably going to ban me from ever touching one of her things again. Um, but like, I hope she's a good sport about it. Cause <laughs> anyway, um, you can't give them dramatic makeovers or personality adjustments. I kind of like that being in there. Um, you know, cause it's like, you can't just go in and like change them. I will tell you if my Sims grow up with no chins, I'm giving them a chin, but I'm pretty sure that that's an exception to the rule because it's like, oh no, I mean, that's just the Sims being weird. Everybody deserves a chin. Chins for everyone. Anyway, no money cheats unless I get a money tree, but that doesn't count. And then if you could do the challenge, give her credit. Hey, here you go. <laughs> okay. Um, vague guidelines. The air can be any, any gender. They don't have to be female. Well, we weren't going to do that one if it had to be female anyway. <laughs> and they can be any sexuality. Perfect. Cause all my Sims are men and all my Sims are gay. Are we there yet? Did we get that? Are we in that? Okay, cool. Um, the children don't have to be genetic. I do want them to be genetic. I like seeing how the genetics play out. I personally hate children. That's one of my traits. Uh, in my Sims self hates children, but for some reason I'm a legacy player and I'm like, I just love how we're seeing the genetics play out. And it's so cute. Look, the toddlers are so cute. Now shut up. Leave me alone. Why are you crying? Get out of here. Basically. Um, the generations will offer three traits. You don't need to have all three, but they should have two. If you can't add them when they're heir as a child, you can choose a different trait and then like whatever. So we'll probably try to do all the traits unless for some reason, you know, it's like, well, I don't know. This one works better. Or if we get new ones that maybe aren't in, like, you know what I mean? Hey, we got this new trait that would work really well for this. But for the most part, I don't mind doing that. I also have additional traits added into my game that we can add in addition to the three cast ones. So I might be trying to add some of those based on the Zodiac sign because I have Zodiac traits. So I can add those, you know. Hey, Aries gets to be an Aries. And then I have a other personality ones where I'm like, okay, depending on the traits and how the generation's supposed to go to kind of enhance that a little. So, um, do, 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 do. You don't have to have all the packs. I do, except for bust the dust. Cause I hate dusting in real life. Why the fuck would I do that in the game? And I mean, I hate laundry in real life and I don't want to do it in the game, but it came with some cute like build items. So, but the dust one, it just came with a vacuum cleaner and dust. Those are two things I don't enjoy. So like, and then the throwback fit kit. Cause I'm like, I don't need any more athleisure. That's all my Sims have. So, although that one, maybe there might be some cute things. I don't know. Mm. Anyway, I love this optional. Each generation has an assigned color. You don't have to follow it. You can use as much as you want. You don't need a whole yellow house or a Sim dressed in yellow. It's up to you. <gasps> I like that. I like, see this, these are guidelines. I have these few guidelines. Those I will follow. Everything else. I don't know. I can't tell you. Anyway, 
And every generation has a different theme to name their children. I love that. I love that. And then use the hashtag Starshine Challenge and tweets, posts, and videos. I don't, can I put a hashtag on my YouTube video? I will try to remember to do that. Um, and then again, this is where she says she didn't do them. So anyway, and these are all of her thank yous to the lovely people that helped. And okay, so I'm not going to read through all the generations, but I, here's where I want to jump into how I'm going to fuck this shit up. So I was reading through this and Aries generally... Um, for the most part is there's some other things, but you got to be in the politics career. And I will tell you right now, I hate the politics career. I don't want you to return it. I want you to take it and burn it. Okay. Yeah. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I just hate politics in general. And I don't, I did it once in the Sims for something else. And I was like, I hate this. It's torture. It's like, go out and protest, collect donations, get people to vote for you. Oh, why? I just hate it. So I would have swapped that out. Um, Anyway, no, I mean, I get it. It makes sense. It's just something that me personally, I do not like that career, so I won't do it. <laughs> like, it's kind of like one of the challenges I made for myself. I purposely made the second generation like do fishing stuff because you don't like it. So you should do it. And I'm avoiding doing that generation for that when I bounce around. Like with the, when the air is born, I'm like, what do you feel like to me? You feel like this character. And I do it that way as opposed to like, it goes one, two, three. I'm like, you feel like number six. You feel like eight. You feel like number two. And no one ever feels like number two because number two is fishing and I avoid it at all costs. <laughs> I did it to myself. Yeah. Anyway, look, we all have things. Okay. And then a lot of it too is living in Mount Komorebi and doing the extreme sports stuff, which I do like because I do want to do that more. But one of the challenges I made for myself, my Strawberry Shortcake Legacy Challenge is also up on the channel. And if you really feel like binging, this is a great channel for binging. Again, this is for the new people here. Like they probably already left already. And everybody else is like, we've been here with you from the beginning. We know. But anyway, in case there is a random straggler who is still here after 20 minutes, uh, just enjoying themselves. Th this is a great channel for binging. I have a fuck ton of stuff. And most of my channel, most of my like challenges are like a couple hundred parts in fact if you really want to have a lot of fun our alphabet legacy was one of the first things i put up on the channel and i just finished it it's been like six years this is what i'm talking about that was on short lifespan that's the only reason we got through 26 generations i'm just saying uh but anyway there's obviously other things in there you can kind of see if you've been paying it if you've been watching this while i've been ranting um but the thing that I did in my Strawberry Shortcake Legacy is one of the generations I kind of added in there and I was like, oh, we can put this in so we can do Mount Komorebi and do all the extreme sports stuff so I can kind of explore that pack a little bit more than when I did it in my Colorado Chronicles challenge. challenge? I was going to say channel and then challenge and it became a challenge. <sighs> okay, I don't know. Um, Colorado Chronicles, Colorado is basically our sim that does random pack stuff like i don't really know what to do with this pack we're gonna throw colorado and he's gonna do it so except for realm of magic he didn't do that one he's gonna be a werewolf though <sighs> that's gonna be interesting anyway so he's been around for a while he's the fan favorite he didn't start this channel but he is this channel i don't know but i love him we all love him but anyway um so he did that kind of stuff Obviously, when Mount Komorebi came out, we went and we did all that kind of stuff. But I was like, I kind of want to do it again. So I put it in that. And the only reason I was like, ooh, about it here is I don't want to do it here. And then the sim comes along in the next gen that's perfect for it. And then I'm like doing it twice in a row because then it's like overkill. Listen, I'll get to the listen part. Hold that thought. Put a pin in that. So anyway, I'm skipping gen one. I'll explain a little bit more about that. Actually, put a pin in that. I'm not really skipping gen one. Kind of kinda it's a technicality i'll explain the technicality when we get into the game um so anyway uh then taurus is basically the rough generation i'll kind of just leave this here for you so you can look uh, you know what if you want to read the blurb about it i'm gesturing at my screen like you can see me whatever um if you want to read the blurb about it actually go check it out you know I'm not going to read the backstory stuff. They're really great, though. Genova did a really great job, like, putting thought into I love it when people do that. They're like, here's this, and this is why, and this is how I painted it. And I'm like, I love that. But if I read it, then I'm going to be influenced. <laughs> and my sim's going to do So I just let my sims do whatever they want to do. But, um, but I'm not going to read through those. You can go read through those for the generations, especially that we're skipping. Um, but this one, a majority of it is doing 
all the cooking skill, doing the culinary thing, and then running a restaurant. Oh, God, yeah, running a restaurant, owning a bakery. Everybody made me do the bakery thing when Get to Work came out, and I'm still traumatized about it, okay? I don't like retail stuff. Um, But I was like, the weird thing about this is I was like, oh, but if I made the restaurant like a food truck, that'd be kind of different, and I might not hate that. Plus, you just have to own it. I could go like once or twice, and I never have to do it again, basically how I do everything, right? We own a bakery! I went once! What do you want from me? So I was like, okay, but the thing is, this works perfectly for the generation. So I'm not knocking the challenge. I want people to, I, I want to stress that. I am not like, oh, I don't like that. No, it's me. It's me. It's me. Not the challenge. It's me. You know, it's like, it's not you. It's me. It's legit me. Okay. I can make my Sims paint every fucking Sim that comes along and be like, you're painting and you're going in the painter career. I don't get sick of it. Even though you're like, I have done that 700 times. I could still do it. I don't care. Everybody's a painting goblin. But when it's like, okay, you're going to be a chef and you're going to cook. Well, yeah, but like all my Sims have, somebody has to cook for us so that we don't die. I mean, we'd light the kitchen on fire making earwax salad if someone didn't have cooking skill. So I'm like, do I, I mean, I do it anyway, but like, do I have to? Like, I don't know. Like, (laughs) so again, it was me. It was a personal thing. We're not exactly not doing Gen 2 either technicality put a pin in it but where we're really starting is gen 3 again okay so gemini we're starting at gemini so this is where i said i fuck shit up also there's a couple of generations in here as i was reading through i was like um i wasn't vibing some of them i'm like okay cool yeah yeah okay cool oh i got some mm, mm, okay vibing thoughts thoughts happening processing Ooh, 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 things that we can do right you feel something and there were a couple i was like Uh, oh you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a couple of generations from the solar system legacy and shove them in here so i'm taking two out and i'm putting two in um so i'm actually going to open this in a new tab because i don't want to accidentally like lose this one so let's go to the solar system legacy we're going to be doing them later so it's not that important but there were a couple in here um i think it's is it Jupiter? Yeah, Jupiter, I really like. Live in different worlds because when I was reading through this, right? Cooking, okay, painting, okay, rocket science, DJ mixing, bowling. Wait, what? Excuse me? Those are so random and I love it because I'm like, that is the weirdest set of skills together and I love it. It makes sense. Okay, I do painting and cooking or like fitness and wellness, but this is like rocket science and bowling. I, I don't know why I loved it so much. And you got to go to 6M. You got to do an answer. I, all these things. And then the one extreme sport. I'm like, okay. It's just, they're kind of, it's kind of random. But I love that. It makes sense. I just, I love it. I was like, I have fun with this because it seems crazy like me. I don't know. I like it. I like doing things like that. Because in one of my other challenges, I like pimping my own shit, right? Um... Alice in Wonderland 7 Gen Legacy that was written in 2015. So a lot of it's very charisma and cooking. That's everybody because there wasn't a lot in the game in 2015. I'm not begrudging the person who wrote the challenge. It was great for the time, but it's been a hot minute. So it's like we got a lot more stuff. So I was like, I revamped that one myself too. But one of the things I'm doing is like, okay, so we have our mad scientist vampire who's doing all the things like rocket science and science and like, you know, the robotics. I'm also going to make him knit because that just seems something that's kind of like out of the blue. You're like, really? Okay. Like, you know, so I like that. This vibes with me. Uh, The other one is Saturn that we're going to be mixing in because Salvadoradian culture, vampire lore, writing logic, and then you're writing books and you're like, can I write books on Salvadoradian vampires? We can make it a whole like, like not better than Twilight. Yeah. It's going to be fun. So um, so again, I'll link these both below because we're technically taking things from both. Plus, there is one later, and I don't remember which one it was, um, that you deal with going to Sulani and stuff. And it's you're on the beach and you're doing the medium skill and like you live in a haunted house. So I'm a paranormal investigator on the beach. That's fucking awesome, too. What the hell? That's amazing. <laughs> Why did no one think of this? Somebody might have, but like, I've never seen it before. So I'm giving Genova all the fucking credit. Like, girl, you crazy. And I love it. Like, that's amazing. Like, paranormal beach investigator. Yes, I'm going to show up to your house 
and hunt the ghosts in like a bikini. Except for not because it's going to be a male simp. I mean, he can wear a bikini. What do I care? I don't know. Um, But I might take some of that, like the paranormal thing, and put it in the generation here that is on Sulani. I'm like, can we like shove that in a little bit? We might be able to shoehorn it in, you know. Um, But anyway. So generation three gemini uh i will read this for you we've been here for 30 fucking minutes and we haven't even gotten to the, you know what i'm not gonna read this for you i'm gonna let you go read this for yourself you okay but basically um i'm gonna start here and we're starting with our sims as children uh, and one of the things I want to point this out is visit Mount Komorebi with your grandparent if they're still alive at least twice in your life. But obviously we're starting with Gen 3. Not exactly. So I want to prop that out. Um, I When we do the actual challenge, I will read through the requirements, um, that kind of thing. But if you want to check it out in advance, you have this to go to. This is where we're going to start. But I will introduce you to our characters. So I'm going to jump in game. This is a long you're like, it's 30 minutes of like nothing. Right. Yeah. This is what we do here. Hi. Welcome. We're going to actually introduce you to the characters. It's going to take a lot longer. I'm sorry. I'm very excited about this. And I probably should have introduced you to the characters before. But anyway, I should probably re-record this, but I'm not gonna because I've been here for half an hour doing it. So if I got to suffer through it, so do you. <laughs> I'm kind of an asshole. Anyway, let's jump in game and I will introduce you to the characters and I will explain everything. Okay, so for those of you who have been here for a while, you will recognize the characters on the screen. There are some slight changes. So as I mentioned before, we had a character, Colorado, who has done a lot in his life. Um, quick overview. He's gone to Sulani. No, okay. First, he started off in Selva Dorada. I made him when Jungle Adventures came out. He was our Indiana Jones. That's why his name is Colorado Smith. He's our intrepid explorer, okay? Then he went to Strangerville, okay? Then he went to Sulani. Then we did a spinoff series that was kind of like a prequel, The Young Colorado Chronicles. Anybody who is old like me might remember The Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, and I just have to say, I loved Sean Patrick Flannery back in the day in that. I mean, he's still kind of hot now, but like, man, I loved him when I was a kid in that show. Anyway. So we did that for Colorado's university days. That plays a part in this. So just keep that in your mind. Uh, and then what did we do after that? I think we did the eco lifestyle. And then we did. What came after eco lifestyle? Oh, then we did Mount Komorebi. And then we did the cottage living stuff. And that's where we left it. What we are doing here is a semi alternate timeline. We're splitting off from Mount Komorebi. We're going to pretend in this that the cottage lifestyle stuff never happened. That is for people who have been here for a while and followed his adventures. If you're new here, you don't need to know any of the stuff he went through. They are just characters in the background and they're just fan favorites and they've gotten a little bit of a change and things have happened to them. So, um, there might be things where I'm mentioning stuff and if you're new here and you've never watched any of that, you're going to be like, wait, what? But like, it's okay. You don't have to have all that background knowledge. But in this, because Colorado did all of the adventuring and all of the extreme sports and he climbed to the peak of Mount Komorebi and did all that, I was like, why can't he be our Aries? And also because when I mentioned on Twitter, I'm like, oh, this challenge looks really good. I might do it after my werewolves thing. Genova Sims was like, why not have your founder be a werewolf? Uh, and I was like, <sighs> okay, but it's Colorado and he already has a personality and I can't like change it for this. But that kind of made me start thinking, and I was like, girl, she's put some seeds in brains. So we're just, that's where I said just we're technically, technically skipping the generation. We're going to say Colorado fulfills that. I've also made him a politician, because I don't have to play him, so it doesn't bother me. So Colorado and Shuraishi, that's his husband, uh, who he met in Sulani, uh, Sulani, in Strangerville. Okay. Um, Shuraishi's also a mermaid. He became a mermaid when we went to Sulani. So he's a mermaid. He's a little crazy. And Colorado is our avid jungle explorer, done all this stuff. But when he went to Mount Komorebi and did all the adventuring and now he's retired, sort of not really. He lives in Mount Komorebi still. Uh, and he's a politician. So there you go. He's Gen 1. Woo! Are we happy? Are you there? Okay. They're background characters. Uh, Colorado and Shuraishi 
when they were living in Strangerville, had an accidental pregnancy, which was Arizona. This is Arizona, right? Oh, my God. Okay. Arizona. So, oh, and I forgot to mention, and I'll say it now, I am using Isle Roo's game save. I will try to remember to link it below, but it's I-S-L-E-R-O-U-X, and you can probably look up her name and then Sims 4 save and then find it. Um, it hasn't been updated since, like, the beginning of 2020. So, like, some of the other, the newer worlds weren't updated and everything, but there's a lot of builds from the gallery. There's a lot of Sims that she put in together from the gallery. I just wanted to try something a little bit new because I have two sick game saves. We're already playing in my steampunk save in one game. I'm playing in my other regular base game save, but I kind of wanted to do something different instead of having just the same Sims that are always, that are mine that I love to death in the background because we're getting all inbred here. And that's mostly because all of my Sims are related to Morgan somehow because, well, Morgan saved the world by impregnating everybody and spreading the world with his beautiful fucking genes. That was an experiment I did for me. And now all my Sims, every time I need like a husband for them, I'm like, I'm going to take these hotties that were all related to Morgan. And then my Sims technically related to Morgan, who then marries a Sim that's related. So it's just incestuous up in here. So we kind of needed a fresh start. So that's, that's where we are. Um, so this is Arizona. This is their first daughter. She is a young adult. This is her husband. I don't remember his name. He is a, gay, a Sim that was in this save with his dog. And I was like, wait, he's in this. He's like an animal lover, some shit. She looks like she rolled out of cottage living. I didn't give him too much makeovers, like whatever. Colorado and Shiraishi, yes, because they got to look like politicians. And I had to tone him down a little bit from all of his jungling, adventuring, and all the crazy outfits that he had. Um, <clears throat> so she's also pregnant now with twins. Uh, is she having two girls, I think? I don't know. I basically went in, forced them in love, got them married pregnant, whatever. Are they, I don't know if they're married. They might just be engaged, uh, whatever. But anyway, this is her. No, I think they are married. Oh yeah. I went into Cass and made them anyway. So that's their first daughter. So she's in there in the background. These are our family members. This is why you need to know this. Okay. This is the background of Lorelai. Who's this girl who was also, um, Oh, see, there you go. Isle Rue right there. Um, and then Townie. <clears throat> and so she is a mermaid living on Sulani, and this is Arizona. Arizona. This is Dakota. This is Shiraishi and Colorado's second child. She was born on Sulani after Shiraishi turned into a mermaid. She's a mermaid. Okay. So she's gotten a little bit of an update. She's also a young adult now. She lives with Lorelai. This is her girlfriend. Swell. So, oh, okay. There you go. <clears throat> We have Reiji Kotobuki and Abraham Van Helsing. If you've been around or you don't, well, everybody who's been around knows. If you don't, uh, I like to make all my Sims based on my anime boys and my Atome boys. Atome games are huge on my channel if you want to check those out too, in case you're interested. Um, so a lot of my Sims are made based on those. Reiji is from Utapri. Uh, so there you go. And Abraham Van Helsing is from Code Realize. Shiraishi is actually from Color X Malice. So, uh, yeah. So Van Helsing and Reiji are in here because when Colorado was in college, here's the fun part. We did a spinoff, right? We went in the middle of Colorado after he already had his kids and was living with Shiraishi. And then I'm like, oh, we're going to do the early days. And this motherfucker is fertile as shit. And he knocked up Reiji and Van Helsing just from having woohoo. And then it just became a game. And it was like, let's just have him sleep with everybody and see what happens. Well, we had two sons. Okay. So I had to weasel them into the rest of the game. So. Reiji and Van Helsing are here just because they are the fathers of Colorado's college children accidents. So this is Archer. Uh, he's living in Tortuga. I know it's Tartosa. I like calling it Tortuga. Okay. I don't know. So he's off doing that. He's single right now. Single Pringle. He's the oldest of the children. Um, so there you go. He's our half He's not our half-brother. He's technically our uncle, okay? Because we're the third gen, so he would technically be part of the second. Um, you know, and that's Van Helsing's son. But I didn't want to leave Van Helsing and Reiji out because, like, it's important. I mean, technically, if Van Helsing wasn't here, it would make a difference, but I feel bad for Archer. You know, we kept Reiji because he is... Uh, Ashton. Yeah, Ashton. Oh, my God. Why did I forget my Simpsons? <laughs> 
Ashton's freaking, uh, I'm going to load them in over here. This is their house. I stole from somebody else. Uh, Reiji is Ashton's father. Ashton is the second son. So it goes Archer, Ashton, Arizona, and Dakota. Jesus Christ. I can't remember. Arizona and Dakota technically came first, if you think about it, because, like, timeline. But, like, in the real timeline. Um, but anyway. So when I was giving everybody makeovers, I knew I was going to use Archer or Ashton. They're both adults. Um as the second gen, so the Taurus generation, technically. Uh, so I gave him the, um, here he is. I'll just uh, let them do their thing right now. So here he is. He's gotten a slight makeover, if anybody has seen him in the Colorado stuff, because he's an adult now. He still has all his tattoos and his, like, piercings, because I couldn't get rid of it. I also couldn't change his hair. Like, I don't know. He's just precious, and I love him. Um... But I gave him the Master Chef aspiration, and he does own a restaurant, and it is a food truck. Um, in this save, there was a Pancakes Bar and Grill, a uh, really cute restaurant, but it just wouldn't work every time I tried to load into it, and it would like kind of like give me that like weird error pop up. So I'm sorry, Bob and Eliza, I made you sell your lot. I bulldozed it. I built my own. And now we have a food truck. It's actually just like a lot filled with food trucks, but I was like, fine, if we got to have a restaurant, there we go. So that's that. So he is technically our Gen 2. Um, you know, he doesn't have all the traits and everything because, again, we're, <laughs> we're just we're cheating it a little, right? But I technically sort of, sort of did Gen 1 and 2. We're starting with Gen 3. Now, here's the fun part. So everybody who voted for oh, cheese in the Twitter, Twitter poll, here you go. This is Brie. Here's your Brie cheese. So there you go. So because we have to be a twin, she is our twin sister. Ooh, taco... <laughs> Because part of Gen 2 is you have to name your kids food names, which I found funny. And as soon as I read that, I'm like, I'm naming his son Taco. And his name is spelled with a K because taco with a K in Japanese is octopus. And tacos, if you just say the word taco, everybody knows what a taco is and it sounds delicious. So it's like twofold. Pretty funny. Um, You can't tell me I have to name my food kids after food and think I'm going to go normal with it. I could have named them waffles and pancakes, but... You know, when everybody was voting cheese, I was like, oh, Brie. Oh, that's cute. Because that's kind of normal. You have Brie cheese, but you also have people named Brie, and they're not named after the cheese. She is, though. But anyway, so there's a little taco. Uh, you know, so he's basically going to be our heir. He's got minty colored eyes, and he's got a little... His clothes were supposed to have mint on it, but this outfit was just too cute, and I couldn't. Um, This is his room, and it's all mint. So, because that's the color of Gen 3, Taurus Gen is mint, which I feel like we're doing the not so berry challenge right now because it's funny. Um, and also mint is kind of hard to find. So I'm like, well, if I just have to do regular green, like lighter green or something or like slightly aqua, I'll kind of do that. We'll do the best we can. But they, uh, so anyway, his children, Ashton, when I came into this game, he went around and he met a bunch of people. I did put Wonderful Whims back in. Um, and my God, this man is impossible to find people. He was attracted to this Joshua guy who has like a jaw for days. And I was like, our kids are going to be the chin. He's also married. And I was like, hmm, well, we can have a plot line where he like fooled around and now has like bastard kids. I don't know. But I went around and I was like, oh, what are all these different single simmies? Let's go to their houses. We went to this Albert guy who was like a scientist and they don't get along because, oh, do we have the, hold on. Do we have the sentiment? Um, he finds him extremely attractive and he keeps having thoughts about the man. But his first impression was that he was weird. You're weird, but so hot, basically. Basically, Ashton's thought on Albert. He keeps thinking about him. Oh, I keep thinking about Albert. Okay, so I just MC Command Center cheated a pregnancy in between them. So Albert is technically our other dad. <laughs> okay, so... Um, and I do have it set in wonderful whims in my game. So most of my Sims will be gay, but some are bisexual. And actually the funny thing is, <gasps> no, oh, thank God. Come here and put him in your inventory. You left him behind. How dare you? Uh, actually Archer is bisexual. It's kind of funny. They auto put him that and I'm like, cool. And he's out in the world doing whatever he wants. So all the families were not. Oh, we also have a dog because I think part of gen two was like, you always have to have a dog. Well, you were supposed to have two dogs as a child, so we have Yoda. Look, I hate Star Wars, but, like, this was a dog in my inventory, 
And I can't remember if I downloaded a bunch of dogs or I made him. I have no idea. He's been in there for forever. Um, but he's like, oh, now he's gross. Great. Um, but he's got giant fucking ears and he's kind of adorable. So I figured I would give us a dog. Why can't I give you a bath? Oh, we don't have a bathtub? Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Well, this is a house that was here. I didn't build it. I just saw it. And I'm like, this house is really fucking cute. So I kicked the people out that were living here. There was family pictures everywhere, by the way. So we'll have to put a bathtub in because I wasn't thinking about that. They had a cat. So like, whatever. Um. Oh, you know what? We need to remove this. Anyway, so I'm going to remove that and I put it. So anyway, we will be playing. I'll put a bathtub in here. We can manage it. We can shove it in. Um, we will be starting playing with them on Saturday. Fireworks festival. Yeah. I mean, I've played some days in the game cause I had to go around and I've set up some ho holidays. So we just had firework festival, which is like 4th of July. I changed harvest fest to basically be like, I still want the gnomes now. Cause like, it's been a while since I played with the gnomes and they are kind of, they get annoying, but like when you haven't played with them in a while, you're like, yeah, gnomes. Um, and that's basically Halloween. Those, that's our birthday. Uh, we got Winterfest. I put that in there. So, actually, I really only put Flower Bunny Festival and Summerfest in there. So, well, it's Firework Festival. But yeah, so we'll go around and visit everybody, and you'll get to see all our fan favorites, like Colorado. The only thing I will warn you about for those of you who've been around on the channel for a while is I did give him the long lived trait. Um, so they will be around for a while. So that Taco can go, <laughs> never going to get over that. So he can go and spend some time in Mount Komorebi with his grandpa. But anyway, so on Saturday, when we come back into play, I will come in and I will explain what we're doing for him, what he's going to have to do. Um, but I, you know, and everything like that and why I decided to start as a child. Spoiler for that. It's because we have to get A's in school. And I was like, well, we'll just start as a young adult. And then I was like, well, wait, wait, wait. So, um. Although the stuff we I tell you on Saturday will probably also be like, did I mention this? Did I say this? Because I'm not going to remember between now and a week from now. So, But anyway, yeah, this is everybody. That's why the kids have white hair. That's what I was getting at because they had ended up with white hair and gray eyes. Like, what's his name? Albert. Um, but I gave him slightly greenish eyes because that's kind of what Ashton has. And his, his hair is a little more blonde, but it's just because it's got the mint on the bottom. Don't worry, Yoda. I'll get you a bathtub, you gross, grungy dog. Um, but we will come back uh, on Sunday, Sunday, Saturday. Uh, it's probably I'm probably going to post this on Sunday, the week before. You know what I mean? Um, and then I will we'll go through cast. I'll kind of show you all their outfits. That's basically the intro we'll kind of do and talk about the traits and what they have for right now and everything. So we'll do the real character introductions, but I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of the overview and the backstory and what we're going to be doing. And I hope you're here for it. I hope you enjoyed this part. It's just, I have been saying all these things in my head. Okay, out loud, because I talk to myself out loud. For like a week. And I'm like, oh my god, and we do that? And then this. So it's like, I just had to get this recorded. I had to get it recorded. I was too excited. So, And now I'm going to process the video and post it so it uploads on Sunday. And then, yeah. So, yeah, I will see you guys on Saturday for the first part of this. And the fun part is the Colorado Chronicles, where we're doing werewolf stuff, will probably come before this. Again, I'm not sure if that's coming up on Sundays or if it's going to be Tuesday, Thursday. So who the hell knows? You might see that before you see the first part of this. This is technically the first part, isn't it? Intro, backstory, warning you how I'm going to fuck up this. Um, but see, if this was just the actual first gameplay part. Buddha. It's technically the first part, isn't it? Look, I'm yeah, warning you ahead of time. It's not part one. It's just the intro. It's the prequel. There you go. So anyway, I will see you guys on Saturday. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.